guys welcome back to my channel what I have for you today is at least two Dollar Tree DIYs I'm really excited um, they're dealing with spring or Easter um, but first before I get into that I've had several people ask me um, over the couple, last couple months what my first name is and my name is Tanya it's just spelled very differently <laughs> I'm very unique. <laughs> okay, so I hope that answers a lot of questions as to what my first name is, okay? So let me show you what you'll need in case you wanna make this really cute little project. Um, now, when I originally did this, sprayed it, and got everything like I was going to do it, it was going to be for something else. So if I had it to do over, I think I'd spray paint it a little bit different. Um, and I actually didn't spray paint these. My husband did because that's when I was sick. Uh, I was just getting over pneumonia, okay? But let me show you what you'll need, okay? You're going to need one of these little, um, they're really clear um, plastic containers from the Dollar Tree like that. You're going to need a candle holder that's glass from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need, you could use Dollar Tree dowels if you can find them big enough, but I wanted mine bigger, so I went to Walmart, and I think these were like 90 some cents or a dollar. You get three, and they're very large, okay? They're called jumbo dowels. Then you're going to need a pack of these plaid doll heads right here. And I think I got these at Walmart too, I'm not sure. You're going to need a glue gun and you're going to need some lights, okay? And then you're going to need, um, this is totally optional, um, you're going to need some Velcro, okay? That is all you're going to need. Oh no, <laughs> the cutest part. I went online and found this really adorable bunny uh, PNG images. These can be printed out and put in um, like, a, like you could put them out and put them in a picture frame, anything that you want to do with them. And I found these and then I found these darling little um, greenery right here and you get a lot of them. I'll put the link in the description box below if you want to check these out. I think these were kind of pricey. Normally it's two dollars, three dollars max. But these were $6 and I think 30 cents, something like that. But that's what I wanted, so I got it, okay? So let me flip the camera down and we'll get started with this. Oh, well, first, you're also going to need some spray paint, okay? Now, I don't have the spray paint because, like I said, my husband sprayed them and it's been a while. And I don't know where the spray paint went, but... Um, I know I had him use like a cream or a light cream for the shade here. And then this and the dowel is in this really like dimensional paint that looks like it has flex in it, okay? And I can't remember the name of either one of those, all right? So let's get started. Okay, like I said, I had him spray paint the candle holder and this dowel with that spray paint, okay? Then I took this um, Velcro and I stuck the real soft side to this and I stuck the rough side to this, okay? And what I want to do, and then I had him put a little hole down in here that this real tiny little nail can go in, all right? So what we're going to do first is we're going to wrap these lights. Well, first I'm going to put, and I want to put where my button is to turn it on right here. And I'm going to just stick it right here. That's totally strong enough to hold this. What we're going to do is make a lamp, okay? And this isn't for, you know, to actually be able to see and read out of, but I just wanted something cute. I think I'm going to set it in my kitchen, and I wanted it to give off light, okay? So I'm just going to wrap this around. You could also use those little uh, push button lights and put it inside the lampshade if you wanted, 
but I want to do mine like this. I think it's going to be really cute. Let me see how far I can go down. Oh, I can go down. And like I said, it's not going to really give off a lot of light, but I just wanted some, I like a decor piece really that would show up and be cute. So I'm just going to wrap these little fairy lights around here. They'll be easy to get off. But if I had it to do over, I would have painted the light shade. I think I would have painted it like a pale, pale pink or maybe even a very light green, okay? And then we're just going to bend this right down like that, okay? And that's what we have so far, okay? So what I want to do next is I want to take this, set this on top. Now I have tons of lights on, so right now it's not looking like it's giving off much light, but it is giving off some, okay? I'm gonna take this really tiny nail, put it down through the top, and then find my center right here. There you go, okay? Then I'm gonna take this little ball, I had him spray paint that, that same color, okay? And I'm just gonna screw that in a little bit, okay? Then I'm going to glue that, this is so cute. All right, now what I want to do is glue this down in here and you can see what we're making, this cute little lamp, okay? So what I'm going to do is, and I have to glue this on too. What I'm going to do is put some glue. Now, I would recommend, if you're going to make this, to use E6000 because um, hot glue does not like anything to adhere anything that's been sprayed, but I think this one will hold, okay? Then I'm going to put some hot glue right in here and set this right on top there, all right? Okay, this is what we're getting so far. I think that is adorable, okay? Now what I wanted to do is take these bunnies that I just printed out on Avery sticker sheets and just peel this off. I used um, my Cricut to size it to the size that I wanted, but you could go in in your computer and change your image to that size, okay? And now I wanna put my little bunny and you could do this if you wanted before you got everything glued together. Right here, and I think she is adorable, okay? And I can't forget the back, so I want to do the back the same way. But like I said, if you don't have a Cricut, you can also, as long as it's a PNG, you can just print these out. And these would be beautiful on a picture or like a picture frame or whatever. Okay, I'll try to get these a little kind of right off from each other. I don't know that I will. And you can measure this if you want, but you know me, I always eyeball things. <laughs> and there that side is and here's this side I just wanted a happy little lampshade for in here in my kitchen now what I want to do is I want to take these and these may be a little difficult because they're coming off instead of one whole piece in little sections. So I might just take it like that and not use all that greenery because mine just kind of came apart. I think I'm going to put this towards the bottom. Okay. 
just like that. I think that's really cute. Okay, then hopefully I can get this one to peel pretty much the same. And it did. And I'm going to stick this one right here, okay? So here is our first spring Dollar Tree little DIY. I think it's adorable. And it's so economical, okay? So I will put this one right over here. Okay, for this next one, it's really simple. Um, you don't need a whole lot. You just need one of these little Dollar Tree houses that looks like this. I used the shorter one. That's They have three sizes. This is the smallest one, okay? You're gonna need a package of their um, carrots. You're going to need some of the Crafter Square craft sticks, and you get 60 in a pack. And mm -hmm. you're going to need some scrapbook paper of your choice. This came out of the Hot Buy pad that I got when I bought those others at Michael's. They're like um, very inexpensive when you get the Hot Buys, okay? Then I'm going to use, I think, some Folk Art Coffee Latte, I think. I don't know. That's iffy. A foam brush if I use it. And then I took my Cricut. If you have... Um, letters of some sort you could use this and I printed out carrots and then a five and then cents okay and you'll need some transfer tape if you're going to be using your Cricut so to get this um to so it would fit in here I just took um an exacto knife and just cut right around there on the inside and a little bit on the outside and pushed, it popped right out. Then I just laid my paper over and traced it, okay? You're also going to need some school glue. Okay, I'm just going to take my school glue, put it on the back of this paper. And one of you had asked, do I do um, scrapbooking? And no, I would love to. It's just I can't get into everything. I used to do planners, which I consider almost like that. Um, but until I find my little piece, I can't start them back up. Okay, then we're just going to put this right on here like that. And that's what we're getting. Then I'm going to take my little house, my front. Okay, you can do this one of two ways. You can go ahead and glue this on and then put this on there, which I might do it that way so I'll know exactly where it needs to go. So I'm going to put some hot glue right on here. And I use the Gorilla Glue, and I, it's going to hold this. I'm not worried about that. And I'll link everything in the description box, like I always do. Um, the link to my glue gun or anything like that. A uh, top cash back where you can shop online and save money, anything like that, okay? And that is what we're getting. I already think this in itself is very cute. Now you could paint this if you wanted. I don't think I'm going to paint it, but I think I am going to paint something else, okay? Now we're just going to get, now if you had the letters, you wouldn't have to, to do this with your Cricut. You need some transfer tape. You can reuse your transfer tape. I'm going to put that right on there. Okay, then we're just going to put this, get it where you want it. Okay, then we're just going to just like that. I know it's probably hard to see. Okay. You can usually change your direction if you're having problems and it'll fix it. Okay, that's what we're getting so far. I think that's cute. Then we're gonna get our transfer sheet one more time. Put this five on it. Put 
place it right there where you want it. Okay, <laughs> that's what we're getting. For the scent sign, I just made it out of um, scrapbook paper. Okay, so there's our carrots, five cents. <laughs> I think that's sweet. Okay, now what I want to do, I took one of these sticks right here from the Dollar Tree and I just figured out how tall I wanted it and I took scissors and just kept cutting, okay? And they cut them like that. Then, to get my little board to go across, all I did was just start bending this in two. Like that. And then if you don't like how this one came out, you can just bend it like that. And that gives you that. It's really simple, okay? So what I think I'm going to do now is go ahead and paint these right here. I think I'm going to paint them. We will see if I like it. If I don't, but I think they need to be painted. I'm going to put on a glove because I'm... Okay, I went ahead and just painted them like this, and I don't think I'm going to paint the rest of this. I think I like it kind of just natural, but I was just looking. You could take these and put these right on there like that and make shingles out of them. I think that is adorable. Okay, but I'm not going to do it, but you definitely could. Now I'm just going to take some glue, put a little bit right there, Stick it right here. We're making like a little fence. <laughs> I think that's sweet. It's much warmer here today. Much, much warmer. I think it's in the 70s. And it won't bother me if these aren't exactly even because I want it to kind of look old. So if they're kind of like haphazard, that's fine. You can put it as close together as you want. But I wanted mine to have a little bit of room. Okay. Because it's supposed to be kind of old. Kind of farmhouse. Okay, and that's what we're getting. I think that's really sweet. Okay, then all you have to do is take your carrots. Well, no, we have to do one other thing. Then I want to put this, like, little fence on here. And which one do I want to use? I think I like this wider one. I'm just going to take it, put some glue. Don't have to put a lot because I don't want it spilling and dripping. I'm going to set it right on here, and I need to paint it as well. So I'll pick up a little bit of my paint. <laughs> okay, here's our little fence. <laughs> you could even put a little sign there, but I'm just going to start putting my carrots right here. I'm going to lean one up there, and I think I'm going to have one kind of like that. And that's what we have. Okay, so let's go take a look at it. Well, I love them. I think they're precious. Here's our first one. It's our little lamp. I think, look at that. And I'll try to turn off um, some of the lights. Well, I'm going to take these and put them in my utility room because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put these yet. But look how precious that is. So cute. And like I said, it's not going to give out a lot of light, and that is fine by me, okay? So there's that one. And then here is this, carrots five cents. <laughs> you can even put a little sign, like one of those um, 
chalk signs that are really little and put um, McGregor's or Cottontail Farms or something. I think that would be really cute. And like I said, you could put these on the top and make shingles. So many options. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. And then we'll go into my utility room and just kind of see how it looks out there. I think these are going to be really cute when I start decorating with them, though. Well, here's Miss Maggie. And she says, oh, Mom, did you see this, Maggie? Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh, does Maggie like that? Do you think that's pretty? Maggie says she likes it. <laughs> she was kind of naughty today. I was in our bedroom getting dressed, and she always comes in there and kind of hangs out while I'm getting dressed. Well, I turned around because I hadn't heard her, and I wasn't sure where she was. She came around the corner of the bed, and my husband has these... Um, some kind of little prints under the bed and she had been chewing them. She had a piece of paper hanging out of her mouth. So, so mama had to scold her and put her up in bed and then she backed into the covers with just her head sticking out so she could watch mama, didn't you? Mm. Okay, let's go in there. You gonna say hi? Say hello. Say, I might do a video where I'm playing. Would you like to see Maggie play? Say, I bet you would. Say, I'm funny. Are you funny? Maggie. She's just too shy. So let's go into my utility room and see how these look. Okay, here they are. They're sitting here. And you can see that that is giving off some light. It's so precious. But like I said, it's not going to give out a ton. But if I set it in my kitchen, I think it'll be just enough. And there's the carrots, five cents. I just think that is so sweet. You can really make a lot of inexpensive items from the Dollar Tree. So until next time, bye guys.